Uh, we have to have lost another game in LKL and it becomes more and more realistic that the team might be relegated. So if the Vietas goes down to the second division, what would be the future for the Mellow in the club? I don't, I don't like I said, about the future about the Mellow. Right now, we're going to finish up during the week. I'm not worried about his future right now. The thing I'm worried about, Mellow used to be hurt. His back was hurt. So the more games we play, I see him going back into his old self doing a lot of things. He's still got to get more in his win. But as far as attacking the rim, I just want to focus on the rest of the season. Because I don't want, let's say, April goes through and everybody's, what's Mellow doing? Oh, he's doing that. So, why are you even playing? Why are you? I don't need all that. Just no, get in there and let him do what he do. If not, we just sit down. But we'll get better at practice. <laughs> I'll do some extra work with him. And the key to all this is people talking about going to certain places to get developed. My boys are going to be developed if they went anywhere. And the fact that I instilled hard work in them. So if you've got a good work ethic, you can go to 10 buck 2 and get back with nobody. All you have to do is have somebody get behind you and, and, and push yourself. And that's why I commend Coach Reed over here, man, because all his players, when he put them out there, they go. Even they don't do nothing, they, they go. And it's good to see a team like that. Like I said, anything with a team, it starts at the head guy. If the head guy don't instill all that, it's sweet. Tim here from Pure Kicks YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all good. Congratulations on your win. Um, to Leangelo, obviously, congratulations on putting your name in the draft as well. But my question is really all about your shoes and your own having your own shoe. How must, how, how must it feel being your age, going into the league with your very own shoe, and uh, ready for a, a new legacy, if that makes sense? It's a very complicated That's definitely. And the same, same to you with Melo as well. How, you, how does it feel for you, even though you, you're not quite there just yet, but we're very confident you might be, but how does it feel to have your very own shoe, which do look pretty good, I must say. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, the shoes feel really good. Like, a dream come true, because I really like shoes. And I've got to turn my own and take things. Definitely. Jello is the best fit for the Lakers on the fact that he needs to score. And he has the best chemistry with his brother. But don't be like, okay, it's just his brother, that's why he's playing. Jello can score the ball and play the game. And he's great for it. So why wouldn't any father want all the kids on the same team so you can see everybody at one time? My philosophy for that is like, I don't want them on three separate teams because if this guy is winning the championship, the other two not enjoying it. They're like, I mean, our team sucks. But if they're all three, they'll stay together for life because they won't let money guide them. What I mean by that, after certain players play so long, I mean, I got enough championships. I want my own team. I want my, own money. my boys will never do that. So, ball boys are good for business, but also the team chemistry would be so good. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people don't want that to happen because it's the big three now. Because after LeBron and, and KD and all them are old, yeah, the three young brothers, the ball boys are still 23, 24, and ready to take over the NBA. Uh oh. <laughs> what was it like for you guys playing against the competition from Lithuania rather than other BBL teams? Can you talk a little bit about difference in styles of play, etc. that you found? Um, I think it was a really good experience. I mean, normally you used to play a lot of British basketball, but then when we got pre-season, we went to like Poland and stuff, so it was good to play like another European club. Um, it was a good experience. I think they played a lot more up-tempo, um, but the game was very challenging. It was a good game. Um, I, I just finished playing college basketball in America, so it's a lot different. I mean, it was a little bit less intense um, on the defensive end, but they pushed the ball really well, which, you know, we struggled with all game. But it was a good experience to play against guys that might be in the NBA and kind of comparing where I'm at with them. So it was good. And I've got a question for Jello as well. Seeing you warming up in the Jellos, your signature sneaker, is there a reason why you changed before the game into the kicks that you're wearing now? No, not really. I just wanted you guys to get a sneak peek at them. <laughs> you know, just warm up, introduce them to the crowd, and then get ready to go from there. No, thank you, man. <laughs> Round two. Round two! The trash is coming back! Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Good job, homie. Good play. Thank you. Do you think, man? Congratulations. Good job. Great job. Hey, man, thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank